What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Hey homies, so today I want to talk to you about a murder-suicide that happened in Esc Escambia County. That's in Pensacola, Florida. And the story was sent to me by Shannon. Thank you so much. I do appreciate this because I want to also talk about this and I want to talk about things that you should look out for. Whether you are male or female, there are red flags. There are red flags that you have to look for when you are dating somebody or in a relationship. Okay, so it says here, two people are dead following a murder-suicide at an apartment complex in Escambia County Monday afternoon. Okay, now this happened around 420 p.m. Escambia County Sheriff Chip Sim Simmons says a man shot and killed a woman during an argument before turning the gun on himself. Sheriff Simmons added witnesses were present, including an infant child. The investigation is still ongoing. Now, they said no further details have been released. And I went on, you know, social media to look, and someone had this story, and it says, Rest in peace, Kavia Simmons. Okay, and so she had a baby you know with her boyfriend that was her child's father beautiful beautiful baby they did make a nice little couple they look like a, a beautiful couple they had a baby the baby is gorgeous my goodness she's a gorgeous little girl for what i'm being told that she didn't want to be with him anymore right and you know i guess he didn't take that too well so they got into a heated argument and he shot her and himself. First of all, that's nothing to shoot somebody for. If someone tells you they think it's best for you, you two to split or they don't want to be with you anymore, of course your feelings hurt because maybe you're in love with the person and you don't want to end it. But that doesn't give you the right to take someone's life. Okay, and then you turn around, take your life. You took the easy way out. You took the coward way out. Okay, so now you have two families. You have this beautiful little girl. You have Jacavia Simmons gone. I think his real name is Tradarius Gray, but he's known on social media as Zoe. And you have two families that have this baby girl that they share. Jacavia family is going to be hurt because their family member, Zoe, is the cause of this. They He took Jacavia Simmons away from her family and her child. And if he really loved that little girl, he wouldn't have did that. Because now that little girl don't have a father and she don't have a mother. But she have family members. This is awkward because... His family probably loves her just as much as her family does. So now what? You put two families in a messed up situation. Okay? Jacavia Simmons was a beautiful woman. And whatever her reasons that she didn't want to be with him anymore, that was her right. That was her reason. But he had no right to take her life. Because she didn't want to be with him anymore. Now on her social media page, she did post this. She posted May 16 at 3:40 p.m. Single as hell, right? And then at 4:20, she's gone. She's dead. Okay, at 4:20 p.m. Okay. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say because she posted that, that's why he did it, because I don't think that's it. I think the reason why he did what he did to her, because he probably didn't want it to be over. And maybe he had the mentality of, if I can't have you, nobody could have you. You know, they were together. 
they had a beautiful baby. The baby shower was one beautiful from the pictures that I saw. Had a beautiful baby shower. You know, I don't know the full reason of their argument. Okay. But for what's going around, she didn't want to be with him anymore. And like I said before, some guys just can't take that type of turn down or what do you mean you don't want to be with me anymore we have a kid together but what happened why didn't she want to be with him anymore did she catch him doing something did he do something or maybe she just fell out of love with him and didn't want to be with him anymore and it doesn't matter what the reason is he had no right to take her life he had no right to do that So, I'm not sure with 100% what the reason is, okay? They got into a heated argument. She put on social media. She's single as hell. You know, maybe he wasn't ready to let her go or whatever the case may be. But the thing is, he had no right to do that to her. And like I said before, there's a lot of guys out here that have this mentality of, if I can't have you, nobody can. And I'm not saying he did have that, but some guys do think that way. And some women do think, think that way as well. Okay? So you got to be careful. When, you, when you're dating people, you have to know them. You have to get to know them. And if you see any red flags, whole ass. Now, I take it that these two know, knew each other very well, okay? They were in a relationship. You know, they had a baby. You would think that they looked like a happy couple. Pictures can be deceiving. They looked like they was a happy couple. Then nothing was wrong. But you just never know what's going on behind closed doors. I feel bad for her parents. And I feel bad for his parents. Because he caused this to happen. He took her life and then turned around and took his. Okay? Leaving two families in a world of hurt. Okay? Kavia Simmons family are, are hurt, angry, whatever's going on, they are they're pissed off and they have every right to be. Because me, I wouldn't want to see any of their faces. Because your loved one did this to my child. You get what I'm saying? I don't know how they are, re you know, I don't know if they talk to his side or whatever the case may be. But as for me, I would be angry. And then you have this beautiful young, this beautiful little baby in the midst of all of this. Who don't have a mother and who don't have a father. Because her father decided to take her mom's life and his life. So now she don't have a mom or a dad. But she has family. She has grandmother. You know. Some uncles, aunts, cousins. She got family. But. I hope. In a way. That the two families. Can find some type of middle ground and I know it's going to be hard because that baby has two separate families you get what I'm saying they're going to need to be there for that child and it's hard because of this situation it's the situation so you know what I, I send my prayers and condolences because this situation is oh my god it's like what the heck you just never know what people are going through. You never know. You can't. That's why I always tell people, I don't do couple goals. Because, yeah, you can see pictures and posts of people li living their best life and being happy. But, baby, when the cameras are off and when, the, when they go to bed at night, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So, I don't believe in couple goals. So that's just me. I don't believe in couple goals. Because there's not one couple out there that's perfect. Nobody is perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect marriage. You may have a nice marriage, a good marriage, you know, this, but you're going to have some arguments. 
So there's nothing out there that's perfect. And everybody relationship and situation is different. And I really wish this this, this didn't happen to her. This is really hurtful. This is hurtful. They are a young couple. They were young. I'm going to say uh, they were young. They had their whole lives ahead of them. He could have went his own way. She could have went her way. As long as that baby was taken care of by both of them, that's all that would have mattered. But some type of rage in him unleashed. He had a gun. They were arguing. He didn't like what she was saying, I guess. He, and she, he shot her and then he turned the gun on himself. And this happened while that baby was in that house. I don't know, guys. This is just, oh, you know, this is just really, really sad. It's really sad. It's sad. I, I just, I don't have nothing much, you know, to say about this. I just send my prayers and condolences to the families. You know, and I just hope that this little this little girl is going to receive an abundance of love because she's going to need it to, to grow up and feel love from both families. Because when she gets older, somebody's going to have to tell her what happened. You know, but she's a baby. She was just born. She's a baby. And not to have and to lose your parents at such a young young age, she's not going to remember her mom and dad ever. They could show her pictures of both of them, but she's not going to remember. And this is the time where you're supposed to be bonding with your child. You want your child to sense everything that you're feeling. You want her to feel the love. You want to see your child grow up. You want to see the child take her first steps, but it won't happen in this situation. And it's so messed up. So messed up. This little girl did not will not get a chance to see her mother get old. <sighs> mm. Mm. This is just I I just don't I just don't understand. I really don't. I just don't understand it. Mm-mm-mm. Well, I'm gonna leave you guys with this, and I'm gonna call it a night. But um, this situation is really heavy on my mind. It really is. It's really heavy on my mind. Hmm. Hmm. If I find out anything else, you guys, I will update you. You know, just keep the little baby in your prayers. That's all I can say. Keep the little baby in your prayers. I think her name is Halani. The, uh, what's that little baby name? I know she got a cute little name. Oh, my goodness. I just, mm. Mm, mm, mm. You know, it's 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 just it's, it's a sad situation. It's a sad situation. They had a beautiful baby shower. You know, everything pink because the little princess was to arrive. Beautiful little girl. Her name is Talani Kazaya Gray. And she said, God knew my heart needed you. I love you so much. I birthed a gorgeous little girl. And then you see, you know, both of them in the pictures together. He's holding her by her stomach. He's in the baby crib with her. And she's with the baby. That baby is gorgeous. Like I said, both parents were nice looking. You know, nice looking parents. And this happened. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and just close out. 
she's a beautiful little girl <laughs> she is a beautiful princess Talani and she was she po she got some cute little pictures posted on um, April 21st you know she's sitting up she's becoming a big girl you know she looks so cute in these pictures And it's a shame that, you know, this happened to her parents. It's a shame. Poor baby. Poor baby. Mm. Jacavia Simmons, you know, may you rest in peace, baby girl. It was gone too soon. Gone too soon. All right, you guys, that's it. You know, um, just say a prayer for the baby and for the families, and I'll talk to you guys later.